Hello, uh, we are on the second part of chapter 27, the Sage of Kemp's House and we have just finished the first part of uh, this video and in that I had explained to you the complete chapter but we are yet to do the review, the notes as well as the important quotations. So here it is the second part of chapter number 27 and let us review. It is the month of June. I had mentioned in uh, the previous video also that uh, uh, the month of June is going on which means that we are in a kind of a warm season and that is why the invisible man is able to stay out so easily and he says Kemp says that it is about one o'clock in the afternoon when a letter of threat uh, comes Griffin writes a threat letter to Kemp Kemp locks his house and puts a revolver in his pocket. And why does he do this? Because his life is in danger. He writes a note with his further plan of action and sends it to Colonel Adye through a servant. So Griff, uh, Kemp writes a note so that they could plan their future action. But unfortunately, when Colonel Adye comes, he informs him that his servant was assaulted and the note was snatched away. And who did this? The note was snatched away by the invisible man. And then the windows of the house start smashing. Adye goes out to fetch bloodhounds and takes Kemp's revolver with him. And when Adye sees that uh, this situation is not in his control, he goes to get the bloodhounds, the dogs, help, policemen, force, whatever. And he also takes Kemp's revolver with him. But when he goes out, the invisible man wounds him and takes his revolver. He is accosted by the invisible man as I had told you in the previous video. And Adye tries to wrestle it back but he is shot. The housemaid returns with two policemen and uh, when she returns, the policemen enter the house but Griffin it tries to break open the windows with an axe. Finally, he enters and faces the policemen. So the two policemen and Griffin get into a kind of struggle and uh, he fires shots. The invisible man fires shots but he misses. The policeman accosts him. He wounds one but the other one manages to hurt his wrist with a poker. He revol uh, the revolver too is thrown away so he is not able to use his revolver also. Meanwhile, Dr. G uh, Kemp escapes. The policemen think him to be a coward in doing that and uh, we have already discussed the two faces in this situation. You could consider him a coward because he has run away or you could consider him a hero, a smart man who has run away so that the invisible man follows him into some trap or in some way in which he could be caught. But the policemen think that he is a uh, coward.